Hey everybody, it's your shop teacher here. I've got a little product review. This is something a little different for me, but I have something I've been wanting for a long time. And boy, am I excited. It is a gantry crane. We ordered a one ton gantry crane from Eastwood and I'm gonna show you this thing and show you how it works and why I love it. All right, guys, well, this is just our, uh, what we'd call a cherry picker engine hoist. Putting one of these in uh, a car, getting stuff out of it, or getting an engine out, it, it can be a little challenging. Um, you have to put the feet under the under the car. Sometimes if you have a lowered car, the suspension's kind of tough. Uh, you know, you got to jack the car up. You have to move it around. One of the things we had to do on this little Mustang here is we had to take the front uh, front bumper and everything off so we wouldn't damage it when we were using the uh, the engine hoist on it. So I wanna tell you about my gantry crane. Check this thing out. So this came from uh, Eastwood. The cost on these is around 700 bucks. Uh, it does not come with the chain or pulley system. I'm sorry, I got my finger in there a little bit. So up top, the neat thing is, is it has a little trolley and I'm doing this on my own tonight. So let's see if I can. I got the engine here. Whoa, kind of broke loose there. Uh, so you can actually kind of move that thing around there and position this to wherever you want. Now, I've got uh, an LS motor here we did a little previous video on just hanging here. Now, the neat thing about this is, like, it gives me full 360-degree access. So I don't necessarily need an engine stand to work on this. You can see we've got the little pulley action here. They they make an electric pulley. Um, I opted just to go with the old chain method. We got strong kids here, so that's not a big deal. Um, plus, you know, we're going to move this around the shop quite a bit. And so I didn't want the, the additional cord because I've got enough cords laying around here, as you can see. Um, but the kit comes in two boxes. They delivered it truck freight. We built it here. Um, it wasn't too tough to build. It took maybe an hour or two to put it all together, maybe less. I don't know. It wasn't much. Um, but you can see here, um, it's about to the top of our ceiling. We adjusted it so you can raise it up or down. We opted to go with as high of a setting as we could. That was on the recommendation of one of the students. So if you need to raise it up, it just has a, a crank here. And we can raise or lower it just by doing this. You know, to raise or lower either side. Uh, you can't really do that now because we have these little safety pins in there. I'm not making this like a Quentin Tarantino video or something where I'm jumping all over the place. But this thing is awesome. It's one ton. Uh, the chain and hoist that's a thousand pound capacity. We could probably have gone for a little higher capacity chain and and uh, beam trolley is what they call that. So those are two separate deals that that were purchased in addition to um, this little Eastwood gantry crane. And they make a bunch of them. Eastwood's not sponsoring this or anything, but believe it or not, it was the same exact box from the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh crane. Um, there's a couple of others, but this one I think was like $6.99. So you can get, uh, get a really good deal on these things. There's some that are a lot more money. I didn't see the need to spend it, but it has some big heavy casters on it. So we can move this in and out of the shop. Well, I don't know how to move it out, but we can move it around the shop. So we had we had it over the Mustang, which you can see behind me. It's that uh, tool cart's kind of blocking it, but that's how we installed the complete drivetrain. So we raised this up, raised the drivetrain up right here. We had the engine and transmission on it and just dropped it in all as one piece. So it was pretty cool. Um, you know, we didn't have to fool around with the with the engine hoist and 
and do all that. This thing was awesome. You know, we could even put the car on the lift and use that. So the next big project we're gonna do here is the, uh, the El Camino. So anybody that's familiar with these G bodies knows that this is a body on frame car. We've got a lot of work to do on this thing. And we're going to, uh, we're going to use the gantry crane to lift the body off of the frame of the car. And that way it'll give us a chance to work on the frame. Uh, once the frame is out, then we will use the crane again to then, so I'm swinging around here because I'm looking around. Um, we'll drop the engine straight in here with the transmission. So the body will be off of it, it'll be super easy. We'll just roll this thing through the gantry crane and that's it, it'll be awesome. It's, it's absolutely incredible. You can see we got a new compressor in the background too. I'll make a video on that one later. That thing is way cool. But that's it guys, that's what's going on. We got a gantry crane, I love it. Um, if you want to know more information about it, reach out to me. I'll, I'll tell you about it. I didn't make an installation or build video. There's a couple of those out there. And quite honestly, it was, let's see, let me count the parts. Uh, those two support beams on the side, those little smaller supports. So that's six pieces, the legs, eight pieces, nine pieces uh, would be that top beam. And then four of the caster so total of 13 pieces and then just the hardware and it's i mean i don't even know that i really got into the instructions all that much because it was just that self-explanatory putting it together but if you've got questions reach out i'll be happy to talk to you like share subscribe we'd love to hear from you we love subscribers